Hey, Baccarat players, Jimbo here. So, what is a pro cheat? In my opinion, it's a secret to bet selection. But let's take a look and see if you agree. So, basically, what I've done over the last 15 years is collect about a little over 800 live casino shoes that I've played and documented them. And, you know, in some other videos, I've told you all the reasons why. If you go to my website, you also get the background story on that. But basically, in doing so, I've come up with some things that I think help in bet selection. One of them is a post-high table. And what that does is simply tell you what the frequency of occurrences are on the first three hands after a tie. Now, this is a bead board that I took from a live online casino shoe that I played on Bet Online. So, if you go down to the bottom here, you'll see a black row. That black row uh, represents the number of hands in a shoe. I track 1 through 48. Uh, this particular shoe didn't go that far. But nevertheless, um, the blue boxes represent high frequency highs. Now I will tell you there's probably about 15 of them in 48 hands and um, 4 and 6 if you see a tie happen in 4 and 6 the likelihood of you seeing a tie happen in the other 14 or 13 hands is pretty high and that proves out here. You see it happened in six, we had a, a winner. There was two units. What I do is I start out with one unit and I increase a unit each time I bet for the first uh, seven ties. Okay, so you can see over here I bet one unit because I won here, so I drop down a unit and then I go over here. I bet two units, I bet three units, I bet four units, I bet five units. How many of you probably said at this stage of the game, forget it, I'm not betting any more ties? And I understand that. But if you have faith in the pro cheat sheet, it works out for you. So here, in hand 26, I bet six ties, and I got 48 units. Can't complain. Uh, then down here where it says bet, that's the post-tie table. So if I have a tie, right, in this particular instance, I had two ties. 1 on 5 and 1 on 6. Uh, 6 was a winner, obviously, but then uh, my post high table says, all right, don't bet the next hand. Bet the second hand after that, which I did, and it was a player, and I had two units. Then on the third hand after a tie, it said bet player again, and it was a banker, so I lost that one. And then we go down here to 16. There was a tie here on 15. It said, bet a banker. I bet a banker. I lost two units. It said, uh, bet a player. And I won six units. And then it said, bet a banker again. And I lost one unit. And I go over here to uh, hand number 26. There's a tie. We won that tie. Um, I bet because it said it was going to be a banker. That's based on my post-high table. And it was a banker, so I had four units there. Uh, said it was going to be a player on the next hand. It was. Uh, I wanted a unit there. And the next one, which is the third one after a tie, it said it was going to be a player, and it was a banker. So I lost a unit. And the number on these units, uh, you can either do progression up, one, two, three, four, five, six, or on your uh, cheat sheet, it'll tell you the number of units you should be betting for each one of those hands. It's that easy. So if we go down here, we see there was 48 units that we won in ties. So what's that equate to? Uh, well, if you were betting $10 for each one, that was $480. If you were betting $25 for each one, that would be $1,200. $50 would be $2,400, and $100 would be $4,800. And I know, you probably say to me, whoa, Jimbo, whoever bets $100 on ties, 
You'd be surprised. In 800 shoes, I've seen a lot of people that do that. So then we go down here to the post type bets. There was 15 that we won, 15 units that we won. So that being the case, at a $10 bet, we won $150. At $25, we won $375. 50, we won $750. 100, $1,500. So as you can see, that really does add up, and no, it doesn't happen 100% of the time, but it happens more than 50% of the time, typically anywhere from 60 to 80% of the time. But, you know, it's your choice. If you think it's something you want to try, try it. This is what the pro cheat sheet looks like. So I'm going to share with you a way that you don't have to lose any money or not lose a lot of money anyway. Uh, the pro sheet, cheat sheet to the left. It's a collection of over 800 live casino shoes that I've played and includes frequency outcomes for uh, ties, repeat ties, post ties, repeaters, which are called streaks and patterns, pairs for both uh, players and bankers, as well as both of them, uh, players, of course, and bankers. So no matter what your strategy is, you can use a pro cheat sheet and it will enhance your bet selection. Kind of think of it as a caddy for your baccarat. You know, just the way Tiger Woods has a caddy for his golf, you're going to have a caddy that will tell you what are the best selections uh, in terms of making your bets. Will they be 100% accurate? No. Will they be better than what you're doing now? Yeah, I would say more than likely they would be. Um, each pro sheet includes video, uh, written instructions, a PDF pro sheet that you can reprint multiple times, plus a simulator on an Excel spreadsheet that you can test your strategies. Uh, and, you know, it's that simple. It's pretty easy to use. It looks pretty complicated maybe to you when you look at it, but if you take the time and learn it, take you maybe a day to go through it thoroughly. Uh, if you don't want to go through all of it, you can just bet on the things that you're most comfortable with. I have a lot of players that just like to do players and bankers. I have others that are just tie betters. And then I have a lot of pair betters. They like to bet pairs. And then of course there's those that are still old school and they believe in streaks and patterns. And again, I track that in those 800 shoes. So if you think it's something you want to experiment with, go to www.beckerat-cheatsheets.com. Click on Cheat Sheets and you'll see the cheat sheets that are available. This one's a pro cheat sheet. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always contact me at my email address, baccaratcheatsheets at gmail.com. If I don't answer, just you know, leave your name, a phone number, an email address. And like I said earlier, you can always go to baccaratcheatsheets.com. And hey, do me a favor, just don't forget to uh, subscribe.